Okay, so let's get started with making a digital product for our Etsy shop. In the last module, you investigated all of the different digital products you might make and you thought about the niche you'd like to work in. For this example, I've chosen to make a printable poster and I've chosen children's wall art as my niche. So here's the poster I'm going to make in this tutorial. We're going to use Canva to make this printable poster. Canva is a web-based platform that allows you to design graphics. It's free to use. There is a paid Canva Pro subscription where you can use advanced tools. However, I've based this tutorial on the free version to show you what's possible. To create an account, go to canva.com and you can sign up with Google, Facebook or an email. So let me show you how I created this poster. First, go to home in the top right corner. Click on create a design and custom dimensions. You want to change this to inches and type in 8.5 by 11 inches. Create design. Next, we want to add the graphic of the unicorn. So go to uploads here on the left menu bar. And you'll see here all of the images that you have uploaded. As you can see, I've already uploaded the unicorn here, but I just want to show you how I did that so you know how to upload images too. So click on upload an image and this will open your files so you can navigate to where you've saved your images. I downloaded these images from Creative Market, which is a great place to find graphics to use in your projects. I've put a link to Creative Market and these graphics in the teaching notes for you. So select the image you want, click open and you'll see the image appear in your upload section. So all you need to do is select your image and drag it across into the page. Then to add some text, click T on your keyboard and you'll get a text box appear. Type in the words you want and pull the corners of the text box to adjust the size. You can then position the word where you want it by dragging it. And with the word still selected, click on this font box and find the font that you'd like. I'm using a font called Cabin Sketch. There we go. Now you can duplicate this by clicking Control or Command D. Then I'm just going to highlight this and change it to Unicorn, reposition to where I'm happy, and then Control or Command D again and drag, change that, and again, There we go. Now all I need to do is adjust the position of everything. You can do this really easily by selecting the box and dragging the corners. To change the order of elements, right click and then you can navigate down to send to back. So I'm just repositioning and resizing everything until I'm happy with the way that it looks. So now I'm going to change the text colours. Click on this A, it will give you the colours here on the left. If you can't see the colour you want, then click on this plus and it will give you the colour palette or you can type in the hex code below. So I want this purple colour. And then in the same way, I'm going to change the colours of the other words as well. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. I'm going to make sure I save. Go to the file and save. I need to type in a file name. Try again. Type in the file name. Click save. And now I'm ready to download. So you need to go to this download icon here and 
Click on the drop down menu and choose PDF print high quality. Click on that one and download. And that will save your download to your computer. You'll be able to find your PDF in your downloads folder. And when you open up your PDF, you'll see your poster. Beautiful. Save it somewhere safe. And then we can use this poster as the first product in your shop. So congratulations, you have your first product ready to go on sale in your new Etsy shop.